Dahmer's cool stuff here. Just try to do a search on YouTube on how to open up an NES Advantage. None exist. Until now. And if I'm wrong, oops, just YouTube search didn't come up with it. I'm going to figure this out as much as you guys are. So, basically what's happening is the A button is sticking. The part that I was coming up to, which was confusing me, is how do you get this shell open? There's got to be a way. Figured out why I couldn't open it. Each one of these rubber grips has a screw hole in there. Taking out these rubber grips. Which is okay, it's an easy reinstall. Either hot glue, or I can just do some double sided tape. Seems weird though that this glue's been on here for, well let's see, 87. Over 20 years. Alright, so that's the uh, first challenge. Um, getting the uh, rubber stamps off to get to the screw holes. Three, six screws. And I've kept them in somewhat order of where they go. These are the foot rests. Which I'm going to have to figure out how to put on. But now I'm afraid of releasing the Kraken, so to speak. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to have to get some uh, cleaning things for this. So yeah, that's what the back side of an NES Advantage looks like. We have five, six more screws. There we go. This project has got a whole lot worse. <laughs> Ugh. <sighs>
a question. Okay, so after you saw the guts, I have I put everything back. It works fine. Everything clicks the way it was supposed to. Everything lights up controls what happened was the uh, start button was getting stuck so it was actually causing some sort of issue with the game but here's what I wanted to show you this is the biggest th this was the biggest hurdle and it could be for some people because they don't know about it where these knobs are for the turbo buttons there's an actual nut that goes in there that is the final part to hold the mother, the board to the controller. And yeah, this NES Advantage does work. Brought back from the dead, this is Dahmer's cool stuff, and as always, do good gaming.